What we're doing is we're air spawning. We're live spawning these fish um, instead of the typical uh, strip or kill spawn. What they're doing is they're injecting uh, low pressure into the abdomen of the fish and it gently expels the eggs. Um, instead of killing the fish, they're filling the body cavity with air and that essentially forces the eggs out. And uh, a ripe fish, um, if you pick up a ripe fish, eggs will just naturally fall. And this gives it just a little more push to make sure we get as many of those eggs out of the, out of the uh, body cavity as possible. It takes a little while for them to uh, come up, uh, just to strengthen up after the spawning event. They're, they're very emaciated. They're, the energy uh, that's spent during that whole spawning process is fairly immense. And so they need a break. We put them in a tank, we feed them, um, and we keep them as happy as possible for three to six months. And um, hopefully they're, they're conditioned to a point where they're redeveloping eggs and, um, and uh, they're ready to spawn again. Right now, uh, processors is showing a, a, about a, a little over 50% survival in their reconditioning. We, are, um, we had l less than 10% last year, so we're hoping, to, we're hoping to get to that 50% soon. We're trying to get as many fish to respawn. Uh, these the steelhead are, are iteroparous, and uh, the more of those fish that we can get back to the ocean and come back and spawn, the better. And, and uh, using this uh, fairly unique trait for a salmonid, the ability to spawn again is, is really what we're targeting. We're, we're trying to take advantage of that, that life history uh, strategy and, and uh, get them back out into the river. The air spawning's been around a while, but we've actually, this is, this is actually fairly new um, for all the steelhead here in this area. Um, some of the national uh, hatcheries in the, uh, around the Northwest have been using it, but for the, for the door shack, this is, this is very new.